Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Xbox Frequency playing Game 19, bringing y'all another classic match. So I'm yellow. I'm first act here. Um, by the way, this board is looking. I think I'm just gonna make a political statement here, and I'm just gonna go for Africa. Sit five in there with my two other territories, and just basically make a political statement, telling everyone else that I'm going for Africa I'm pretty spread out I don't really have anything else greens probably going for South America so I'll just get out of his way here basically and it's green yeah and greens gonna go for it anyways he's gonna go for my easy one which makes sense So, green's going to end his turn. Move one over in Europe. It's on black to act here. He puts him in Europe. Takes green, it's easy one. Swinging down to uh, blue now. Blue, I'm guessing, is probably going to go for Australia. He does have two territories in there, so... I would think he would go there. When he does. Oh, never, never mind. That's an R8 move. He's got India and China there, kind of all protected. Now he's just got to move everyone out from within. So swinging on the red. I'm going to guess he's going to go for North America here. He's got three territories in there. and His Kamchaka border there is... He has a few army, extra armies there, kind of conveniently sitting on his border. Next to his border there. So he's going to come in with that six. And he's going to smash. And then take another territory in North America, which makes sense. Bing brings one back to Kamchaka there. Now swung back around to me. I have five there, so it's a nice. Now I have eight. Go eight on two on red. Take them out. Go four and four, and uh, just take my take my card and end my turn. Kind of slow grind out uh, Africa here, territory by territory. Just get my card, take a territory in Africa. So two more turns, I'll. Uh, I'll probably for sure hold Africa here. So green's not gonna quite take quite take South America just yet. And it makes sense. He wants to uh, get his card and bulk up. Swinging down to black now. He's going to take out green. So black is a slow ground in Europe. Swinging down to blue now. Looks like he's going to work on his uh, Australian quest. Seems like he wants to come from Outside in. No, okay, he put some in Australia.
eliminates black from his continent. And he's going to probably go for me next turn. Oh wow, red. Red is a thorn. Tax green in this continent. Oh, I'm thinking he just wants to be kind of a thorn slash. He's going to move his troops up anyways. Into North America. This is what I think he's doing there. He wants to get his troops out. Take a card there like that. So, swinging down to me. I'm going to go 7 on deuce. Or 6 on six on deuce, technically. I take her down. Do I want to go 4 on 2? No, I do not. I don't want to risk it and have no armies there. It's a for sure card next turn, too. And I'll, I'll secure Africa. Don't want to get too greedy and lose them there. It's I could easily lose those four there. I'll just wait out, wait it out, put some more armies on there, and uh, ensure that I take her down. So green loses a bit there, attacking uh, red. He's probably just waiting for red to exit us now. Swinging on to black. He's going to go for me in Iceland. Takes me out of Iceland. And gray is slowly uh, grinding out his Europe here. So swinging on to blue here, he's going to eliminate me, most likely, from uh, Australia. I almost should have put one there just to get to turn to have four there instead of three. Ooh, stops him. Yeah, if I had four there, one extra one, you know, I'd be throwing two dices here in instead of one. He gets me anyways. Lo loses a lot though. See, and that's the beauty of kind of putting one extra troop to kind of restrain someone from getting the continent that turn. I probably could have maybe stopped blue if I put an extra, just one extra one there. Which I probably should have done, but that's alright. He takes up blue, takes Australia. So yeah, Red Red did what I thought he would do in Exodus into North America. Which is very reasonable. Seemed like that's what he was doing, just kinda getting his troops out of South America. So Red ends his turn. Finally swing back onto me. And I have enough to take and hold Africa here. I feel comfortable. I'll put one up there. Takes out green in Madagascar. And I'm just gonna move them all back for a 444 kind of border. If uh if you guys have seen my previous videos, I talk about the uh, 444, or I should say triple four at the Sickbo table. I know most of you probably have never heard of Sickbo, but it's a game at the casino where you bet on three dice, and uh, it's a fun game. 
it's recre recreational for me. You know, every few weeks or whatever, and I'll go there and spend, you know, even 20 bucks. Sometimes I just bring in 20 bucks and I'll just bet triple four, four spins. It's just kind of like a fun thing I do. Try to stay away from that place, though, I'm telling you. Stay away from that friggin' place. Anyways, Green takes South America here, and uh, I'm just saying, t stay away from that place. You know, every few weeks or every few months, you want to go spend 20, 40 bucks, whatever. Go have your fun. It's just like going out to dinner, but I've just seen uh, the soul of Gambler take over too many people, man. It's just, it's not cool, man. Gambling's not cool, man. That's why you gotta be like me. Go every few months, every few weeks, once a month, you know? Whenever you're feeling it, feeling your long shot, go for it. So anyways, Blue takes out us, I am there, and moves them up into China. So everyone's just confirming their territories. But, um, yeah, sorry, I just have triple four there, so I'm going berserk on the casino talk here, but whatever. It's a good time if you if you respect it like anything. So it's on the red here. Continuing to uh, slow grind out North America. So swing it back onto me here. I can trade in. I'm not gonna do it. I want to be the first to trade in here. But um, I'm gonna put a lot up in Asia here and just kind of. I feel safe about defending Africa here, so I'm just gonna make sure I can get my card out up here in Asia. Now we just have a triple five kind of uh kind of border going on and have my presence in Asia just so I can get my card. I feel like Africa and South America you kinda want like an Asia presence somewhat. Just so you can uh get your cards and kinda stay alive somewhere else. So, I mean, rarely does some someone try to hold Asia. I mean, it happens. But, um... Especially for this early on in the game. Like, no one's going to really be able to hold Asia. Swinging on the black here. Looks like Black's gonna exodus his troops out of uh, North America here. So swinging on the blue, blue's getting pretty, uh, pretty powerful out there in Australia and uh, Asia. Gonna hurt green here. Ooh, he's gonna prop him up on my border. So swinging on to red here now. So red trades in here. So yeah, he's probably just going to slow grind out uh, 
North America still first to trade in. He finally eliminates me from North America there. Oh, wants a piece of black, but he loses him. See, that's why I kind of take you one territory at a time. When you're taking your continent, it pays off because you just end up losing them like that, you know? That's so, so bunk. He could have just waited next turn, and that could have been his next card. And sometimes you gotta think slow, Brian. But, anyways, I have to trade in here. I'm the second to trade in, that's okay. I'm in okay position here. I like my positioning, so. So, I might go. 6, 6, 10 here. Maybe I'll go 7, 7, 10. Put a few out in uh, Asia here. Take my card and just sit 6 out in Asia still. So I have an option here. Options at least. Swinging on the green here. Got his butter South America still. And Green's gonna be trading in here. He had the wild card. I like to keep that in mind. Although really it doesn't it doesn't matter too much, I guess, but So green goes for my uh, goes for my territory there. I left it weak anyway, so makes sense. Swinging on the black here. See what uh, black can get up to here. Black is also going to trade in here. And he probably can take Europe in this turn. Let's see what he does, though. He might he might do otherwise. Nah, he's definitely going to take Europe. Yep, yeah, he's definitely taking Europe. Unless he gets huge losses here. Which he probably won't. Yep. Yeah. And he's going to confirm Europe on his trade in here. Gonna prop him up on my border. I'm not too worried though. Now it's on to blue to act. So what's blue gonna do? He's thinking. Puts 10 in China, 10 in India. Oh, puts a few more in Japan. Takes his card, ends his turn. Swinging on to red here now.
So Red might try to confirm his North America here, which I don't think he will. I don't think he will because Black's got too much on his board, and he doesn't, which is smart. What's he going to go? What's he going to do? Take that border and sit two there while Black can just easily break him? Red is smart. He, he spreads him out. Nice deterrent. I like that move by Red, actually. He becomes a nice deterrent there in uh, North America and knows black and just mess him up. But anyways, it's on to me now. And uh, might prop those up to eight. You know what? I'm just going to throw the rest on to here and I want to kind of take blue out here. It's kind of getting powerful and then I can bring those to my uh, home base here. I'm going to bring them back. I like that. I like the 8814. Usually when I have Africa, I like to have one of the uh, territories to have a little bit more than the other ones. So if someone does break you, you kind of have a territory that you can uh, bounce back hard with. So I kind of... It's on the green here. Let's see what he does. But I kind of left myself with a crummy card situation here. Um, depending on what people do, they might box me in, kind of, and force me to break someone, or... We'll see what happens, though, first. So green is just gonna take his territory in Asia. He's fine with that. So it's on the black. I gave him Europe. Because I don't feel like he's going to really break me here. So he doesn't hear it's green, doesn't break me. On the blue, he can trade in. I as well can trade in. So that's pretty huge. I can um, I can trade in here, so I have options for a card. So blue's attacking green here. Looks like he wants to take him out of Asia. Now all green's got is South America. Which, uh... Forces him to make a move on either me or North America. It's very clever of blue to do that. And, and he's kind of blocking me in here. Let's see what he does here. I bet you he'll kind of try to box me in as best as he can to force me to attack somewhere. Yeah, and he does. He wants me to break green or black or it wouldn't be very logical to go through him. So he's kind of blocked me off there. But he doesn't know I have a trade in. So it's on the red here. Keep in mind that green is only in South America now. Oh, wow. I think red might want to take out green here. He doesn't... It would be so tight, though. He doesn't quite have enough. That's the thing. If that's what he's thinking right now, he doesn't quite have enough. Yeah, and he probably, he probably realized he didn't have enough to really... I feel like the odds are stacked against him if he tries to take out green here. So. But he does got to worry about green because he does have a lot there. 
I like that. I like that move with 20. That's a... Uh, that's an honest political... Whoa. No. Just puts them all there again. Wow. Doesn't even go for his North America. That's so shocking. That's very shocking that... Uh, I don't know. Maybe he wants to try to take out green here. I don't know what he's saying. Maybe he just wants to break green for now. That's crazy. He could have easily secured North America there. He's losing a good amount. He might be able to do it. No, he's just losing too many. Yeah. He lost too many. Wow. Well, clearly my best move here is to eliminate, eliminate green here. He's got four cards. I can trade in. I'm going to trade in because as soon as I take his four cards, I instantly get to trade in again. And I have way more than enough to take out green here. Red kind of foolishly tried to take him out there and, and left him way too easy for me. That was a pretty bad move on red there. I don't know if he was just raging on green for whatever reason or... Oh, no way. Red left. Green left. Green's eliminated here anyway, so that makes sense. I'm surprised red left. He probably just realized he made a supreme dummy move and kind of rage quit. So now I gotta think black and blue. I'm gonna probably trade in. I probably have enough to take out blue here. I have tons on my fronts. Oh. Blue has exited. Now black has exited. Wow. Rage quit winner. No way. Do you guys believe that? Rage quit winner. Those guys just gave up. The thing is, I probably could have took out black and then tr traded in again. And I probably would have gave a world of hurt to blue. But um, those two guys couldn't trade in. Blue and red are, were low on cards, couldn't trade in. I could have took out black there and finished the game hard there. In conclusion, I probably would have had that game, but everyone just rage quit. Rage quit win. So uh, anyways, thanks for checking me out, YouTube. Uh, this was game 19. I hope you enjoyed it. Rage quit winner. <laughs> So, uh, I don't know if I'll title this one Rage Quit Winner because everyone just rage quitted on me. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe. Peace out, YouTube. Till next time, Risk 